there's all this uh, black pill stuff, which mm-hmm. I see being very negative. Yeah, black pill, uh, my, from my perspective, it's really um, not really helping anyone. It's just complaining, mm-hmm. a lot of whining. Uh, what's your perspective on this and what kind of mm-hmm. things should these guys do instead of making excuses, basically, or mm-hmm. believing in this very narrow point of view? Okay, so when it comes to black pill, the, the black pill, black pill is a pres- is a prescription. I think that's that's the first thing that people need to understand. The red pill is descriptive. The black pill is prescriptive. Tr- being a trad con, trad traditional conservatism, that's a prescription. This is what we should do. This is the best practices. The black pill is usually populated by guys who are asocial or antisocial. Um, they uh, they tend to take the information that the red pill gives them and they their prescription is to do nothing or it is to uh, bitch and whine and moan or or um, or maybe even worse. It's the same thing for guys who are, quote unquote, incels. That's a prescription. They take the same data and they take the same information and they interpret it through this lens that help that is like I, I would like to say is like it's like self-loathing or it's this uh, this. um commiseration amongst themselves so we can say oh uh we're all we're looks maxers and we'll never be we'll never be better looking we could go to the gym but it won't fix our faces it won't fix our jaws we're chin cells we're whatever cells right it's it's a prescription for your own failure and it's a reason they the red pill becomes a reason for them not to do something instead of a reason to do something now if you've read my first book or actually i think even my third book which is in positive masculinity i I describe this as the abyss. Okay. So what it is, is when you are in this blue pill kind of delusion where you're believing that uh, whatever your, your mom and dad, your, 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 you know, popular media, pop culture, psychology, your religion, your school, whatever has taught you, here's the, these are the real truths, the Disney, you know, truths about, uh, you know, intersexual dynamics. And then you suddenly take the quote unquote red pill. And now you, your eyes are open and you're aware of how, how the how you've been living your life has been according to a set of rules that no one is actually playing by. And so now in the red pill, you say, oh, now I'm aware of intersexual dynamics. I'm aware of, of women's nature, of men's nature, and the confluence between those two natures. And instead of seeing that as an opportunity to live a better life and to change, you know, like we were just talking about getting zeroed out a minute ago, instead of seeing that and say, oh, now I know the rules. Now I can fucking level up and I can kick ass in this, in this new red pill paradigm. Instead of doing that, what guys think is I really wanted that blue pill dream, but I can't have it anymore. And I'll never be able to be in success because now I know my eyes are open and the world is just nihilism and despondency. And, you know, let's read a lot of Nietzsche and, 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 you know, uh, beat ourselves up emotionally all the time and do nothing and sit in our rooms all day long. That's a prescription. Because you've taken the data that is the red pill that's given you and made you red pill aware. And rather than taking that and seeing it as an opportunity and seeing it as something that is constructive, people see it as destructive and they want to beat themselves up. And in the data age, it's very easy to find forums and and long ass podcasts and user groups that will help you commiserate with other people who don't want to cross the abyss. And by me, what I mean by crossing the abyss is going from that blue pill to the red pill and then from that red pill seeing the opportunities that are in that because now you are playing by the real action you have actionable information you have a- accurate data now that you can use either to burn your house down or you can use it to light, light you know, warm your house and and uh and and cook your food with it when guys get into the black pill it's because they don't see any hope for themselves in this new red pill paradigm. Whereas before they would probably very much love to go back to their blue pill delusions because it was comforting. It was great. I I can't have the white picket fence. I can't have the, you know, the golden retriever in the front yard. I can't have a wife and three kids. No, you have to go forward with this new information and you can build a new life in a red pill paradigm. They just don't see the opportunity and they lack the creativity so I'll I'll leave you with this. That one thing that I've I, I've been noted for saying is that the human condition is defined by discontent, and that is a feature and not a bug of human nature. Okay, you will never be content. 
And that's a good fucking thing because if you were content, you will stagnate. You will do nothing. You'll end up like, oh, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm fat and happy and I don't have to do anything anymore. Those are the guys that you leave behind and you keep going, right? So when, I, when I'm talking about discontent and contentment, you can be content for a little while. Like you go to four years, you get your college degree, you go, oh, fuck, this is great. I got my bachelor's degree. What's next? Oh, I want my master's. Okay. I'm discontent with the bachelor's degree that I thought was going to make me happy, but I'm happy in the process getting my next master's degree. Okay, great. I got the master's degree. What am I going to do with it? Uh, how about the doctorate? Let's go and get the doctorate. Like whatever the next plateau is, is where you think you're going to be content. And that's a, like I said, that's a good thing because that, that levels you up. It progresses you. It's supposed to progress you. The problem is, is when people deal with discontent destructively rather than creatively, that's when you get the black pill. That's when you get guys who are doomers. That's when you got guys who can't cross the abyss and they don't see the opportunities and they don't see know what to do with themselves. So instead, they are in this pit of misery and there's a bunch of other guys that are go, yeah, yeah, it really sucks. It really sucks for all of us. We're all fucked, right? They, if you hear that enough times, you're gonna, never going to leave that abyss and you're going to be, you're going to stagnate and you're going to be wallowing in discontent that is destructive rather than creative, I guess would be a better a better term. That's why I kind of I fall down on the on the on the black pill side of things. It's despondency, it's nihilism, it's uh, uh reading bad Nietzsche. <laughs> that, and that's really what it's about. And I think it's fundamentally the cause of it is this misunderstanding that they're never you're never going to be content and you weren't going to be content in the blue pill. And you don't see any possibility to be content in the red pill. The problem is not not the blue pill or the red pill. It's your understanding of being content. You're never going to be that way. That's and that's a good thing. It's okay to be discontent. Just do it creatively instead of destructively. 